It's hot. It's like 90 degrees. Bop. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back for another vlog. So I just got home. So I quickly got out of my work clothes and I started cleaning out my car. There was a whole bunch of stuff in my car because of coal stuff and just stuff that's been there throughout the week. And then we went by Sam's and by we, I mean my mom went by Sam's and loaded up my car with some stuff. And I need to pack because we're going out of town tomorrow. The plan is to leave from work early, from work and hit the road. So I have to be packed. I have to have the car packed with snacks and clothes and toys, the things we need. Not much because we're literally leaving Friday, coming back Sunday, but just need to have what you need, right? So, yeah, and I don't want to come back to a mess on Sunday, so I'm going to try to do some laundry and, like, pre-work. So when I come back Sunday, even though we're coming back kind of early, it won't be too much work. But yeah, we just got back from Cole's flag football game. Started off a little rocky, a little rocky. He did not um, want to cooperate. He got mad because the kids were pulling his flag, but then he got in there. He uh, was on his way to score a touchdown when he got tackled. I don't think the other team realized that this was not tackle football. It was more like a head-on collision. I don't know. It. I don't know how it happened. I just thought it was kind of funny. But anyways, yeah. So he is with Mimi eating dinner and then they're headed this way. So I'm gonna try to get everything done before he gets here. And I realize I'm not gonna get everything done, but I will get a bunch done. I at least wanna get our clothes packed, his snacks packed and some toys packed. Um, so that when he gets here, that part is done and I'll do everything else. If you're curious, we are going to, my mom went to do this comedy show, something she saw on Facebook. It's called Saved and Silly. So if you've seen it before and um, tell me how y'all enjoyed it, I will definitely let y'all know after, because it's on Saturday, like around five. Um, and we're just gonna like relax and just take our time, maybe do a little sightseeing, shopping, see how it goes. But yeah, that's the plan for tonight. Y'all look at this, y'all look at this. All of this came from the car. So we have his school backpack and then like the extra clothes bag and sports bag with his stuff in it that he needs. Cooler, chair, and then the stuff from Sam's. It's always something. So then I'm gonna try to multitask because I have a video that's supposed to go up today and it's ready. I just need to upload it and I just haven't done that or made the thumbnail. So yeah, I'll probably do that at some point tonight but I'm gonna pack our clothes first. Hey y'all, so I'm trying to like get y'all in a better position out of the sun. It's a weird angle, but we just have to go with it because the other way it's like a, a huge glare you can't even see. So anyways, I am in the car. I'm waiting, looking for my mother and my child. Um, so we got in last night and when I tell y'all, we crashed, we crashed. And so we woke up this morning, took like a slow morning. And then I told my mom that the show started at five. I don't know where I got five from. So, you know, traffic can get bad out of Fort Worth it is. I was like, we gotta go early so we can take our time, you know, do stuff along the way. Y'all, it don't start at seven o'clock at night. So we stopped by um, Marshall's because I wanted to look for some black flats so I wouldn't have to wear the heels I wore because I didn't have any black flats at home. Like, when I tell y'all, I ain't done no real shopping for myself in the longest time and we uh stopped there i didn't see oh hold on that's them okay i gotta hurry up because they just called there on their way she had walked him over to the water and somehow we missed each other but it was getting hot outside so first of all it was supposed to be like 70s and so uh i layered me an outfit so that i could be like not cold but also like you know, i don't know anyways it's hot it's like 90 degrees y'all it's actually 96 so one we stopped at marshall's i'm all over the place um i didn't find what i wanted but i did see this and i needed some lotion i'm about to try it right now because i had just washed my hands um fast fast story 
So I have the um, Nivea lotion, just the regular one. I was pumping it and I leave it under my sink and I pump it every day and put it on. Y'all, I pumped it the other day and I was like, why ain't nothing coming out? I never lift it up, I never take it out from under the sink. I literally open the cabinet, pump it, keep it going. Y'all, it was completely empty. I picked up that bottle and it was so light. I was like, what in the world? So, the Marshalls and this caught my eye and it says nourishing lotion body milk and it said it was new. And I was like, bet. It was only $5.99 Marshalls, so I thought I would try it. It doesn't feel as thick right off. It's definitely a milk. Probably more for the summer, honestly. But it's okay, because it still feels like summer out here. It is ridiculous that it is that hot. Anyway, so then I was walking by and I saw this. <clears throat> Lego Mon Acacia, Acacia Bay. I hope I'm saying it right. Y'all, it smells so good. And I have the other one, the Lady. Uh, I'll pop it up on the screen. And that one smells good, so I want to try this one. So, yeah, we went to those places. All right, the crew is back, so I'm going to have to pause for a second. We'll recap this at the hotel. for a second my mom was hanging out over here and she wanted to go get food and so she was riding Cole with her and so while she was riding him I was like let me recap on this video that I need to finish up on so I did that um and I wanted to catch y'all back up on the trip y'all the trip went so fast it was so good and I'm probably gonna edit it the way it felt because everything felt like like we was just but it was a good weekend nonetheless because what I wanted, what I wanted to share with you all um, in the car was that I finally felt like me. Like I finally felt like I was just taking time and pouring into me and did not make a weekend all about my son or all about, and it wasn't even my weekend. So the weekend was for my mom. She really wanted to go see this comedy show. I thought it was a play. It was comedy and it was actually very funny. Um, called Saved and Silly. It was just a group of Christian comedians. And it was a great little outing. And yes, it was far away from us to go for a one day thing, but there's nothing in our area really that we can get to like that. And so it's just nice to get away and get away from home and your norm. And so I ended up going to the outlet mall and just chilling for like an hour and walking and shopping and just enjoying myself and it was much needed. Like I even went in at first, I wasn't going to try on any clothes and I was like, I'm going to try on this dress. And I was like, okay, curves. Like I really just, I felt, I don't know. It's something sparked and I felt like me and I cannot wait to do this series. Um, I think I'm going to call it transformation diaries, kind of like the glow of diaries that the girl girlies are doing, but I'm not really trying to glow up. I'm just trying to change my life, change me from the inside out and I was just driving and reflecting and thinking and this little recharge of a weekend was like exactly what I needed now am I exhausted yes did I come back to a million things to do yes but I turned off my phone as far as work stuff I didn't answer emails I didn't do anything I just enjoyed myself I enjoyed my child I enjoyed my weekend and it was wonderful. So I will show you all the stuff I got because why not? Um, the dresses I got, you, I'll pop a clip up. I got it in black and greenish looking color, but I'll show you all the stuff. Okay, so I actually wasn't even going to buy anything. I was just going to look and I decided to pick me up a couple of things. So I remember we left off in the car. The Nivea Essentially Enriched, y'all. I did not know this bottle was empty. It's probably got like a little bit left if I like do it like this. Yeah, y'all, y'all see this? Like, it's oh, it's so sad. I did not realize it was out. So while I was at Marshalls looking for sandals, I picked up the Nivea body melt, and I had never seen this one. It says it was new. I did try it in the car. It's uh, it feels like it's a lighter formula, so I'm thinking this probably is more for um the summer. But it does say it's a it says it's a five in one complete care with deep moisture serum, almond oil, and vitamin E for dry to very dry skin. So I'm gonna try it out. 
and compare it to this one. It was $5.99. I think when I looked it up in store, it's like $7.99 or $8.99. So I mean, $2 off. Hey. And then I got the Acacia Bay perfume. I think I showed y'all this one. Y'all, it, this smells so divine. Like I can't, it's like a very fresh, just nice everyday scent. And with me being a teacher and closing classrooms, I like to smell good, but I also try not to do too much. And this is that like, we ain't doing too much. This, this, this smells delicious. Okay, so then I went to the outlet and I got me some sandals, some Steve Madden sandals, because I had been eyeing them. They were having a little sale at the outlet and it's still 90 degrees here. Like it fall came and left. I don't know what happened. And so I just wanted some nice sandals to wear to work in the middle of this like transition we're in. This kind of fall-ish, not fall weather in Texas because it's, it's just hot. And I wanted the sandals and I finally, you know, decided to do something for me. Then your girl got her this purse. I haven't had a new purse in a while and I really don't want to spend money on a purse, like big money on like a big designer bag. Um, but I wanted a new black bag that was just simple that I could carry either every day or to church because I literally have not bought me a new purse, like I said, in forever. Um, so I just did this one. I like it because it had like the pocket back here, this thick strap, or I could carry it like the, I didn't open it all the way in. The thick strap here if I wanted to and I can adjust it. And then if I don't want that, I could just carry it with this. And then it does have like a whole other strap, y'all. Like there, it's, it's plenty of options with this. And then it has a front pouch as well. And it has come like two pockets here in the front, a pocket here in the back. Um, there's no feet at the bottom though. And then it has this little number. I don't really know what this was going to hold. Maybe like a little card holder. If I can get it open. Actually, this could be like a really nice SD card holder. That's so random, but like that's what it looks like. Anyway, so. So I just definitely decided to buy it and spoil myself. A little bit of self-care through retail therapy. And then I will pop a picture of this one on the screen. Um, they're on sale right now at H&M online, but this was at the outlet. So they didn't have very many. I thought these would be nice to transition into fall and you could throw a little booty and a jacket on with it. So I got this little number um kind of knit feeling and what i like about it is it has a cute little slit in the back but it's not too high not too high um but i think on the h&m website they had a few left um but they have like different styles of course on there but i like these because they're really long as you can see and i can really still style them with those sandals and a denim jacket or i can go ahead and transition to fall and do some booties and then I said I wasn't going to buy Baby Boy nothing. I really, really did say I wasn't going to buy him nothing. And at first I wasn't. But when I go, it's something about Old Navy. When I go in there, they make me want to buy things for him. So I bought me these dark, like, washed looking denim. And um, the only reason why I got them is because <laughs> they were having a sale. I don't even know if they fit. I didn't try them on. I got them in a size six. So I will try them on and see if they fit. But so I got me these. And when I was walking in the baby section, I wasn't going to do it, y'all. I wasn't going to do it. But again, the jeans were on sale and I had a vision. So I want to take pictures. I've never done family pictures with baby boy. One, because he hated, hated pictures when he was younger. And so I just didn't even fight it. And now he loves the camera. So I want us to do pictures. So can, can, are you catching the vibe? Catching the vibe? Yes. So I got him these cute little skinny. They're kind of skinny. Yeah, they're skinnies. Um, and it is the same washed look as these. And then I got him a nice little white top so he could wear. Because I thought just black and white, keep it simple. Um, and put him on some nice little boots and I'm gonna put on some boots and then they had these cute little black jeans that I thought were cute a little bit of rips had to get them couldn't pass them up anyways that was just a few things I got I really didn't want to do too much 
I do have a plan. So transforming myself for me starts on the inside. Yes, the pers the work on the inside, but I can tell you the one thing I've done is never really took the time to work on the outside fully. Like I've talked to this before, I'll just get baggy clothes, kind of cover up the weight instead of just exercising and working on my weight. Like I'll start and stop and start and stop. And I just want to do a whole revamp, top to bottom, inside out. I want new wardrobe and I'm gonna take it in strides, little increments. So like the first thing I've been looking at on Amazon is cute pajamas because I've gotten into like just the t-shirt and shorts era, just throwing on an old tee. No, I wanna feel put together all day long from the time I go to bed to the time I wake up to the time I go to bed the next night. Like, so I've started looking at pajamas and I wanna take it in strides. Like maybe just revamp my pajamas and then like work on like getting mama new undergarments because why do we buy the kids new stuff and then we never get us new stuff? I, I don't understand it. Um, I've already started doing like getting myself some nice perfumes. Like I started that last year, like really investing back into my perfume. Y'all, it's going to be a process and I am here for it. I can't wait for it. Things I've already been working on consistently, um, of course, is internal and uh, even taking vitamins and skincare and hair care, but I'm, I'm ready to branch out and do more. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed catching up with us. We will see you next week for another weekly vlog. I'm trying my hardest to like make sure we show up for weekly vlogs and we come and encourage and enlighten and just make you smile hopefully it is a little october so i might pop in here a couple more times before october is over just you know random thoughts things that pop up in my mind things i want to share encouraging words what have you but yeah i will see y'all in the next video bye guys